बिस्मिलीम असलम वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लान सॉन इन दिस चैनल यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू प्लान एंड देर डाइवर्सिटी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई टू डेज वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बिकॉज आई रियली नीड योर सपोर्ट एंड अप्रिसिएशन सो द टॉपिक ऑफ माई टू डेज वीडियो इज अबाउट टेक्सोनमिक एविडेंसेज सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो First of all I will define plant taxonomy. Plant taxonomy is the branch of science which deals with identification, nomenclature and classification of plants. It means plant taxonomy has three different functions which includes identification, nomenclature and classification as shown in the figure. Introduction Taxonomic characters are taxonomic attributes that can be used to provide the evidence from which relationships the phylogeny between the taxa are inferred. We will discuss taxonomic evidences in relation to first morphology. Morphology deals with external characters. Second, anatomy. The study of the structure of organisms and their parts. Third, palynology the study of the plant pollen grains and spores fourth embryology the study of embryo fifth cytology the study of structure and function of cells sixth phytochemistry the study of phytochemicals which are chemicals derived from the plants seventh ultra structure the architecture of cells and biomaterials that is visible at higher magnification eighth genome analysis and nucleic acid hybridization which includes identification measurement arrangement of the genomic features are also included in it first of all i will discuss the morphology in relation to taxonomy it mainly deals with the external characters of the plant such as the habit root structure stem structure stem habit bud structure leaf structure inflorescence type flower type perianth structure andrisium type stamen character gynoecial type carpal structure ovule type fruit type and seed type are also included in it it provided the basic language for the plant characterization classification and identification etc morphological data is useful in taxonomic studies second anatomy in relation to the taxonomy the evidences come from wood cell type size and shape wood cell wall sculpture pattern steeler pattern vascular bundle type xylem type wood type and ray type ground tissue type epidermal type mesophyll type scleric type stomatal type trichome type crystal type nodal type venation type petiole vasculation type periderm origin flowing cell type specialized cell type the application of anatomical data to phylogenetic problem is of great value in elucidating the taxonomic relationships anatomy in relation to plant taxonomy it has two types first has vegetative anatomy vegetative anatomy includes the parts of the plant body that serve to maintain its individual life for example leaf root and stem second is floral anatomy Floral anatomy includes the essential parts of the flower means for the reproduction. Third, palynology in relation to plant taxonomy. Basic evidentiary characters are pollen unit type, pollen grain polarity, pollen grain shape, pollen grain symmetry, pollen grains nuclear state, pollen wall architecture, axon stratification. Exine structure, exine sculpture, aperture type, aperture number, aperture position, aperture shape, and aperture structure. In Magnoliidae, the pollen is nucleate. In Caryophyllidae, the pollen is trinucleate. 
In Arikesi, the pollen is in tetrads. In Asclepiadicaceae, pollen remain in pollinia. In Trexecum, the pollen wall is akinate and on the other hand, in Quacus or Quacus, the pollen wall is cabrate. Fourth, embryology in relation to the taxonomy. Embryology is the study of the successive stages of the sporogenesis, gametogenesis, and the growth and development of the embryo. Basic evidences are the and other locally number arrangement and wall formation and endothesium type. Archisporia, cell number, arrow presence, embryo sex development type, embryo and embryogeny type, endosperm type, integument number and structural type, ovule orientation type and position, typical type, perisperm presence, nucleus structure and hostorium formation type. Embryological evidences are important at higher category level. For example, in conjunction with the other types of evidences in confirming the systematic position of taxa. Fifth, cytology in relation to taxonomy. Cytology is the study of the morphology and physiology of cells. Normally, anatomies deal with the shape, size, wall, structure, pattern, etc. But cytologists deal with the internal organelles of the cell and detailed structure of cell wall. Some evidential characters are chromosome number, chromosome structure, chromosome meiotic behavior, ploidy level and type, and chromosome abrasions, etc. Cytological evidences are used for distinguishing taxa to determine the origin of groups and to understand the evolutionary history of the related taxa, particularly those at intraspecific and specific levels of the cytotaxonomy is a part of experimental taxonomy. Such studies are helpful in determining the categories of genus, species, etc., generally in cases of controversy. Sixth is phytochemistry in relation to the taxonomy. Chemotaxonomy is the science of chemical taxonomy. It is based on classification of plants on the basis of their chemical constituents related with the molecular characteristics. Chemotaxonomy includes investigation of pattern of the compounds existing in plants, investigation pattern of the compounds in plant parts, like the bark, wood, aves, and roots, etc. Basic characters as evidence come from flavonoids, terpenoids, carotenoids, polysaccharides, alkaloids, amino acids, fatty acids, aromatic compounds, and C3 to C4 photosynthesis, etc. Popularity of the phytochemistry is due to number one, development of the rapid analytical techniques. Belief that data from many sources should be employed for the classification. Seventh is the ultrastructure in relation to the taxonomy. Electron microscopic studies also play an important role in taxonomy. According to the Haywood and Dechney, 1971 demonstrated the use of electron microscopy in taxonomy. Important characters used in classification are as follow. Number one, safe tube and safe tube plastids. According to the Benke, Atel studied more than 1500 species belonging to the three AP families in 1977-1981 for safe tube plastids and found the three types of the plastids depending upon accumulation of starch and proteins in them. These are S-type plastids, O-type plastids and P-type plastids. First of all, I am going to define about S-type plastid. 
plant seed elements to accommodate the starch it is found in more than 65% of angiosperms including the num- including the members of the Caryophyllidae second is so type plastid plastid elements that accumulate neither starch nor protein in them it is found in the members of the Aumaceae third is the p type plastid plastid elements that accumulate proteins found in the members of the Pinaceae like the gymnosperms and in about 21 families of the monocots and some dicots like the vitaceae and magnolidae f type plasters are differentiated on the basis of the shape of the crystalloids number and nature of the filaments surrounding them second is dilated cisternae or dc I was in and flood 1970 found dilated cisternae DC in caprols DC in the endospermic in the endoplasmic reticulum were reported by the bonnet and newcomb in 1965 in the root cells of the raphanus sativus fevoli and girola 1968 reported dc in flowing parenchyma of foliar veins in brassica chinensis jorgensen 1977 found them is caprus seed elements in evolutionary origin 8 genome analysis and nucleic acid hybridization in relation to the taxonomy genome analysis and nucleic acid hybridization contain identification measurement arrangement of genomic features genome analysis has a very crucial role in understanding genomic relationships among the species and is important to systematists evolutionists molecular biologists etc genomic relationships among the diploid species genomic relationship among diploid species is determined as number one crossing affinity interspecific crosses involving parental species with similar genes usually set normal pores in seeds while crosses between dissimilar species seeds are commonly abortive some hybrids do not set seeds sometimes the crossing is successful in one direction and is genotype dependent second is chromosome pairing In interspecific hybrids the degree of chromosome pairing facilitates the analysis of phylogenetic relationships among the species providing information about ancestral types the dna based molecular markers are applied in various aspects of taxonomy to analyze number 1 genetic identity number 2 genetic relatedness among populations and geographic populations and species third is pedigree fourth is differentiation among the isolated species fifth is phylogenetic structure at various micro and macro levels if you like my video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching thank you so much